All right, I'd just like to share another magnetron that I built. And this is a mini magnetron. You can see it's about the size of my thumb. And what I've done here, so we'll just take it apart. I noticed with my larger magnetron that uh, it was heating a lot. So I thought to remove the heat, I have a few turns of copper tubing that I'm going to put a, a, a cooling water feed through and just to, uh, to kind of keep the magnet level I've soldered a little um, support plate at the top of this cooling ring uh, inside Okay, this is just a copper um, tube fitting and so I just slide I've kind of after I kind of hit this with a hammer a little bit so that this will slide in and I thought about soldering it to the tube but I like that it's a, the depth is adjustable so I could maybe put different size magnets or different size targets in my little uh, copper housing Again, I've got two magnets, two uh, neodymium magnets. I've just cut a little a piece of um, galvanized steel here to kind of hold them. And similar to the, uh, the magnetron I demonstrated in another YouTube video, uh, we want to have uh, like a south-north-south configuration with the magnet. Or north-south-north. Uh, so you see this uh, this ring magnet would be a south polarity and the center magnet would be north polarity. And so we just set it into the copper fitting and again it's uh, movable so I can slide it in a little bit. And I, you want to just, you know, get the the magnet centered in that copper tube and then I've cut a little piece of material this could be any material that you would be interested in sputtering uh, in this case it's copper so I've just cut a little copper target and it fits nicely right in the head of our mini magnetron So it's ready to go. Let's test it out. I'd just like to briefly share the, uh, the, the special base plate I made for my mini magnetron. Um, this, this is the intake tube and I'm going to uh, solder, braze this mini magnetron into these holes fits nicely. I'll solder these in a minute so the solder forms a nice airtight seal and, uh, and of course we can feed the water through the, the tubing and keep the magnetron at least a little bit cooler than it normally would be. underneath here I've just got this is a rubber gasket I cut a square hole in you can get these at Lowe's they work really well and then this is just a copper plate I got from a craft store and again you can see that tube will then be attached to the plastic tubing of the vacuum pump See the other side here. So right now we're ready to solder our magnetron to our copper base plate. I'm going to just solder this magnetron in here and just set it down. You can see the tubing coming out the bottom. I'm just going to set it here. Let's take a 
I want to get it to just the right height because of the, the jars I'll be using for my plasma chambers. Hope we got all that, and uh, we should have a pretty good solder connection. It'll be airtight. All right, here's my makeshift magnetron cooling system. I've got this little tank of water here. I've got siphon action, pulling the water out of this containment vessel up through the coils of the magnetron we saw earlier, down and out. connecting tube and then down to uh, exit bucket and you see just a little drip coming out so hopefully that will keep the magnetron cool during operation so let's uh, see how it works all right we're about to power our magnetron Not sure if you can see that green hue from the, the copper thing coming off the sputter target. I've just opened the chamber and normally this would be almost too hot to touch but the water really uh, regulated the temperature and kept it cool so uh, that's a positive result with the uh, the water flow 
And we're trying uh, another deposit here. It's coming out of a glass test slide, and I have a little uh, plastic support that's adjustable, suspended right above the uh, magnetron target. And you can see we're depositing some copper here. Very, uh, very beautiful striations in the vacuum chamber. I just pulled our sample out of the chamber here and we've definitely got some copper deposited on there. So you can definitely see in uh, this angle the copper that's been deposited on the test slide.